So today we're making gnocchi. Hey everybody, so today we're here with someone very special. This is Chef Marco. You're actually from Italy. I'm from Italy. I grew up in the center of Italy for 25 years and now I'm three years in New York. And has it destroyed you? Has New York completely changed your life? Are you now screaming oh, at traffic? Absolutely. Okay, so today we're making gnocchi. Gnocchi with just like a red sauce. Oh, admittedly, I've made homemade pasta, ravioli. I have never made gnocchi. Okay. And I'm a little afraid of making it. I would say the gnocchi are easier than fresh fresh pasta to do because you have just two ingredients the potatoes in here that we're boiling what kind of potatoes oh red potatoes okay. are the best you ask me why I don't know that what that's what my grandma say and we have to peel the potatoes too right we have to peel the potatoes I have this tool over here which is just a potato riser oh my uh, god you're just going straight in oh yeah, yeah, yeah this doesn't hurt at all it does <laughs> you see it's very painful to make uh, the gnocchi but you know, that's what you gotta do to make gnocchi. This is gonna hold some of the skin, so you don't really have to peel it perfectly. You can leave some skin in there. Aia, in uovo. Aia is the Italian word for ouch. And or uffa? Uffa means, uffa is the Italian word to say that you're annoyed by something. If I drop this potato now, I'm gonna be, oh, uffa. You can learn how to make gnocchi and learn Italian exactly. with Matteo and Marco. Does everyone in New York think you're Latino? They do. Yeah, I actually learned when I came to the US, the first thing that I do was the DNA thing. He says that I'm 50%, which is a lot, Middle Eastern. Yeah, but that's a lot of Italians. Yeah, of course, yeah, because I mean, Middle East was part of the Roman Empire. Is your family from that area or are they from the south at all? No, we're from the center, like okay. where we live. So my town is Pescara, to, which is... To fish? Yeah, Pescara means to fish. That's why I don't like seafood, because I was literally born in two fish town. <laughs> I uh, am allergic to seafood, yeah, so that's, yeah, that's I disappoint I... everybody when I go to Sicily. Also, if you're in New York City or the tri-state area and you want to have Marco come over to your house and cook for your whole family, yeah. reach out. Reach out, but nationwide. This summer I went to Vegas, I went to Cape Cod. Okay, so now we have our boiled peeled potatoes exactly and we do the gnocchi dough i'm gonna add two eggs eggs are not mandatory you can either add it or not i usually don't but here we have to feed mateo muscle so we're gonna add a little bit of protein yeah <laughs> Uh, Walk me through this because this is the part where I'm like <laughs> The important thing is that you want to use as less flour as you can okay. We're gonna just mash the potatoes on here, add a couple of eggs, a pinch of salt and then we mix everything together okay. We want to be fast while we're mixing it because uh, the more you work with it, the more water is gonna come out You want to do that? Yeah, 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 yeah. So hard. Ooh, this is fun. This is fun. I mean, it feels like I'm playing with Play-Doh. Do you guys have Play-Doh in Italy? Yeah, we have it. It's called Pongo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do a couple more. Okay. Honestly, safety first. We're burning our hands and we're using a knife. We're really safe. It's really rustic cooking. Yeah. We're gonna say that also when why we're making the gnocchi. When you make gnocchi and they're not perfect shape, like all like Michelin star restaurant size, just say that you made from scratch and you did all of these. So that's like not well, having... And people are impressed. You make anything yeah. from scratch, like, exactly. oh my. My God! We just break the eggs in okay. it. That's in the middle? middle? Yeah. Due. A due. Okay, pinch of salt. Okay. Two pinch of salt. And we just break it a little bit. Okay. Così. Perfetto. Perfetto, which means perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I always do this, this joke. People always love so much. Okay, now a little what? bit this is so more fun. Yep, a little bit more flour. Okay, and then we're careful with flour. As I say, the more you add, the harder your gnocchi is gonna be. You so just, just wanna yeah mix everything together. I usually start with the bench scraper. If you touch it, they're gonna stick to your hand. So let's dry it out a little bit. I'm gonna add some flour for you in the meantime. Okay. You wanna go from the bottom to the top. So I usually put my hand here to help me. I'm just put like this. In the meantime, they get also a little colder. Like you don't have to be so delicate with the no, dough. No, 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 absolutely. There's no need to do that. You know, let's make my hand messy because we don't have the pasta board, which I just broke. Usually you have more <laughs> space and you can just, you know, I want to make a mess. I'm going to go with the hands. And in the meantime, you know, you can add me a little flour, flour on it, but not that much. Yeah, start with this. Okay, that's a good quantity. 
And who taught you how to make gnocchi? Originally, it was my grandma, my nonna. My dad's mother, she was the best. Every So in Italy, I don't know if you ever heard that, but it's Giovedì Gnocchi. Giovedì is Thursday. I don't know why, but it's a traditional thing. On Thursday, it's when you eat gnocchi. Right. This looks so pretty. Yeah. And yeah, you're keeping it very light and fluffy. And do you want to keep it this wet still? Do you want no, a little more flour? yeah, a little more flour. Just because it's a little sticky and then you're gonna see do doodle, doodle. We want it to be a little less sticky. This is gonna be our pasta board. So let's cover it with flour, put this on top, cover also this with a little bit of flour so it's gonna be easier. And how long do these cook for? I mean, little till they come to the top? Exactly, I'm gonna okay. show you, but there's no cooking time. You put it in water, as soon as they're gonna start floating, it means they're ready. So you're, we're gonna be here with the... Uh, out of the kitchen, out of the kitchen, come here. Thank you. Rolling pin, very easy. And you bought this at a sex store in Hell's Kitchen? Yeah, exactly, okay. <laughs> yeah. God, it's such a pretty... The thing about gnocchi is it's such a soft, pretty dough. Even as it is right now, you're like, you want to eat it. Are you surprised I'm an Italian-American that speaks it? Oh, I, I mean, I was surprised at first. Now I'm not anymore. Yeah, like, first... your Italian is very good. And after you're going to cut this gnocchi, I'm pretty sure you can, you can apply for the passport. Because... <laughs> You speak perfect Italian, you make gnocchi, you know, you know the Ten Commandments? Mm-hmm. Perfect. We're gonna apply for the passport. <laughs> You're so Catholic in Italy. That's yeah. fine, you understand pasta. Now, who is Moses? We are very Catholic, culturally Catholic, but yeah. not religiously, so, you know. How thick am I supposed to make it? No, no, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Now, we take this aside. And we start working with just one of them. More okay. flour on top. At this point, we don't really care how awesome. much flour it is. Yeah, probably like this with your without pushing too much. Yeah, probably just at first. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Beautiful, like. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I think that's pretty good, right? Yeah. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. We don't really care. Let's do it like this, so it's gonna be easier. You have gnocchi. Ah. I go faster with the. With a knife? With a knife, because you can just... And the gnocchi, you can have it different ways. You can roll it on the fork, you can do a bunch, right? But we're just yeah, gonna do Yeah, you can do classic. the stripes. We don't, we're don't. we not doing stripes today. If you're having some meat ragu in your sauce, then you wanna make the stripes because it holds better the sauce. Today it's gonna be a simple tomato sauce that we're about to do. You don't really need those stripes on it. We have our gnocchetti here. This is so much easier than I thought. Yeah, yeah so it's easy. really easy. One thing that is important, you want to take a baking baking pan like that, which is large, because you don't want to absolutely throw the gnocchi on top of each other while you're doing it. My only experience in this is making uh, struffoli. Pronto, tagliare. pronto tagliare. Perfetto, bellissimo, wow. Incredibile. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> so yeah, my nonna Vanda was her name. She used to make every Thursday. You always have the lunch break in Italy. Either if you're a worker or you're a kid at school. At lunch, you're always home eating with your family. Mm -hmm. But my mom and dad, they both worked actually. So that was my nonna. Every Thursday making mm -hmm. a bunch of those trays full of gnocchi. My father just went there pretty much like it was a like a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Take the salt, and gnocchi and just cook it. Not me being a, a professional gnocchi maker. Look at me go, Chris. I honestly, Chris, I'm gonna make this every Thursday. Also, it's easy to make and you're feeding a lot of people at the same time. Okay, so now we've made all of our gnocchi. Now we're just gonna make a quick tomato sauce. Quick tomato sauce from scratch, which you're gonna see, it's so easy. We have a can of good tomatoes. This is just salt and tomatoes, nothing else. You can either use shallots, garlic, or onions. I'm gonna let you choose. I like garlic. You know, it just depends on your taste. It doesn't really matter. It's do you have a preference? Great. Do you prefer onion or garlic? I usually do shallots, which for me, it's kind of halfway between garlic and onions. Yeah. So I just go with shallots. I usually smash it and then just get the flavor of the garlic, cook the oil garlic and basil and sometimes like pepperoncino. Yeah, let's do just this. Couple of garlic cloves. You can put some olive oil in here. There, so let's just put it in. Okay, now we end crash the tomatoes. Okay. You want me to do it? Sure. <laughs> and crash some marzano tomatoes. Just wash your beautiful shirt. Well, it's all right. I think this shirt's already dirty. I'm wearing red <laughs> because of I knew that it would be a mess. This was white originally. Yeah. Now it's yeah, fully exactly. red. <laughs> When do you put the basil in? Because I ha sometimes I take the basil and put it in with the garlic. Where does it matter to you? Yeah, just put the half and half, I'd say. All right, so now we're going to put our tomato in with our olive oil and our garlic. Also, you can see me struggling to not um, get my shirt dirty. But as I put it on, I realize I already have a stain on it. So, like, does it matter? 
Okay, so we have it cooking, and then salt, pepper, what are we gonna put in? Oh, yeah. Lo metti un po' di zucchero, no? Si. Oh. The legend says that nonnas in Italy say that sugar is for the acidity. Right. Chemistry doesn't say that at all. Sugar well. doesn't reduce acidity. But I grew up with my grandma, whatever was the reason, putting some sugar in it. So I just keep doing it. Some salt. You sure that's the salt? Because sometimes I yeah, make yeah, yeah. a grave mistake. Now, how long are we gonna let this cook for? Because this is so, pretty much. I'd say like 20 minutes, probably. Okay. The more you cook tomatoes, the more they change the flavor. Become a little sweeter. So you know, if you want, if you have time to cook it longer, probably you don't need sugar. So now we give it a little stir, and we let it simmer for like um, 15, yeah. 20. 15, 20. Yeah. yeah. See, Nick, you don't have to buy a jar of Prego. Exactly, absolutely. Pray absolutely. Go. Yeah. Chef Marco can tell you everything about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've already cooked this for 20 minutes. We took out the garlic, so now we've got our pasta water going. It's starting to boil a little bit, so we're gonna put yeah, our salt in. We're gonna put our salt. I'm gonna add two hands full, two and a half. My dream, if I wasn't a comedian, would to be owning my own restaurant and make just a few simple pasta dishes. I could just, do, I could do that forever. Yep. I could literally do that forever. Okay, our water's starting to boil. Water is starting to boil. Oh. Now, if it was pasta, I wouldn't mind if it's not completely boiling. But we need it boiling for the gnocchi. We, we need it to move fast because it has to move the gnocchi. Otherwise, they're gonna stick together. So let's wait a minute more. Okay, now you get ready with this, the spider. As soon as I dump those in the water, you wanna move it a little bit okay. right away. Okay. Very important. Here, can you imagine Nick doing this, Chris? Oh my God! Well, I like gnocchi. You have to meet Nick. Who's Nick? I do a podcast with Nick. He's tall and looks like a haunted doll. Oh yeah, I think I, I mean, for sure I saw it. He's horrifying. It's terrible. A terrible person. I don't know why he's in my life. I don't even like him. He calls me nine times a day. Okay. Okay. And we go in, just watch the boiling water. Exactly. Take right away. Yeah, just move it. Okay, exactly. Perfecto. You have to do it right away, but then after not even a minute, they get out there, they're not sticky anymore, so you don't worry anymore. And then it's super easy, guys. As soon as they start floating, you see it on top with the spider, go in the sauce. And then you wait for the other one that, uh, that is happening. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, we have to take this shot when I say as soon as they start floating. We go in the sauce. We wait for the last ones to come up. Ooh. This is on. Can we start mixing it? Oh my god. Look at this. Yeah. So there's one thing uh, uh, that also depends depend on taste, nothing authentic or non rules. You either want gnocchi with a little bit of sauce or like pretty much covered in sauce. Like if it's a broth, mm -hmm. I'm the second type of person. We'll do it like a somewhere in between. And there's already enough pasta water on this, so we don't have to like put more exactly, pasta water in. Exactly, yeah. It looks yep. so good. Thank you, I'm so excited we get to add gnocchi <laughs> with red sauce. Benissimo. Now sometimes oh I God. take a little olive oil and drizzle it over. Yep. Do you do that? Okay. Whew. So two plates here. This is good olive oil. Very good. The pre presentation. And now the presentation. Let's take some cute basil leaves. Oh. No! It does just not get better than that. I like a lot of cheese. Yeah, me too. Okay. So I don't feel so bad about it. Oh my God. But Look delicious. at the yogurt. You just have to try it. Oh my God. Oh, buonissimo. Buonissimo. Hey, <laughs> perfetto. Perfetto. You feel that soft as a pillow? Like it kind of melts in your, in your mouth. Well, complimenti. A te. Yep. This is incredible. I cannot thank you enough. This is Marco, everybody. Chef Marco, NYC. Marco, where can people find you? Tell us what, where. Where on Instagram and TikTok, I'm already rolling. It's been a while. And you can find a lot of recipes, including a step-by-step -step gnocchi. So if you want it a little quicker than what we did today, it's on my profile. And pretty soon, I'm going to start posting on YouTube too. So start subscribing. I'm still on tour. It's the Can't Stop Talking tour. So go to MateoLaneComedy.com and Patreon. For the longer video, you want to see all the stuff that was going on that didn't come on the YouTube channel, go to my Patreon.